Hello everyone and welcome to a new video where we today are going to look at this old newspaper which is a very rare one even from 1989 the summer of 1989 where uh, this uh, magazine came out it is in uh, let's see 39 pages and it's full of very very interesting content now today we're gonna read the Dr. Razemlu article, which is basically a biography about Dr. Razemlu. But the most interesting point here is that there is a lot of very uh, interesting facts that maybe you haven't heard about before. So we're going to get into this and learn a little bit more about it. And this is not the official Dr. Razemlu documentary. If you want one like that, leave a like down below, leave a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel make sure you don't miss any further videos on this channel and i will most likely make a documentary video an official documentary video about dr razemlu now without further ado let's get into the video Abdul Rahman Ghazemlu, born 1930 and murdered 1989. It was the evening at 13th of June 1989 as Dr. Abdul Rahman Ghazemlu was murdered, General Secretary. He was murdered in Vienna, Austria. At that very moment, Abdullah Khadiri Azer and Dr. Fadil Rasul were also killed. Newspaper and sources within KDP Iran told that Dr. Ghazemlu was in Wien as the responsible for a negotiation with a delegation from the Iranian Republic. There was an intention to reach a solution in the Kurdish question in Iran. These negotiations had been possible to make after the death of Ayatollah Khomeini. Dr. Ghazemlu was born 1930 in Shino, Iranian Kurdistan. As very young, he engaged himself in the political struggle. In the beginning of 1950, he studied in Paris and would then return to Iran. After only a few years, he was forced to leave Iran and found himself as a refugee in Czechoslovakia. Here he worked as a scientist in economics and social science. His report called Kurdistan and the Kurds became one of the most important source in the political and economical situation in Kurdistan. It has been translated to many languages. Between 1976 and 1978, he worked as a teacher in Kurdish culture at Sorbonne in Paris. In the beginning of the revolution in Iran, he returned as many other Iranian and Kurdish leaders to Iran to lead its party in the struggle against the regime of the Shah. After the fall of the Shah, there was a hope that the Kurdish people would have their demands of liberty and democracy taken seriously. Dr. Kazemlu took the lead in the Kurdish delegation at the negotiation with the new regime. However, without reaching any solution, the Iranian army and revolutionaries would soon attack Kurdistan and hundreds of people were killed. The upcoming situation forced the Kurdish parties to take up an armed conflict which continues even to this day. Abdullah Ghadir Azer, born 1951, was a member of the Central Committee for KDP Iran. Dr. Fadil Rasul, born 1948 in Suleimani in Iraqi Kurdistan, engaged himself as a young profile in the political struggle. In the end of 1960, he became one of the leaders for the movement of students in Iraqi Kurdistan. In 1978, he came as a refugee to Austria, where he was active as a scientist in social science. His report from 1985 is about the Kurdish national movement and Soviet. The last years of his life, he was a teacher in social science at the same time as he was giving a Arabic written debate article. 
Most of the sources writing about this tell us that Dr. Gazemlo and his friend was murdered on a mission by the Iranian regime and that the murders was made by the Iranian delegation which Gazemlo was negotiating with. This reminds many of the murder on 1929 at the Kurdish leader Shimko Shikak, who was called to the Shah's representatives for negotiations, but was murdered by these. Other sources claim that the murder on Dr. Ghazemlo was made by Iraqi agents. The death of Dr. Ghazemlo and his comrades became a big tragedy and lost for the Kurdish movement of liberty. All right, guys, so that was the short article about Dr. Ghazemlu, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you wish us to do more of these rare articles, this rare um, content that there is about Kurds and Kurdistan. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, everything about Kurdistan. I really appreciate your support. Until next time, see you around.